uh, country here this morning. What I'm going to show you this morning is some more jug lines. You've seen my other video on jug lines, but the video I'm going to show you now some jug lines I'm making, and we're going to target some of the big garfish. Uh, what I like to do for them is this is like an old antifreeze jug, and uh, I put a little bright colored paint on it. It's already yellow, but I got some that's not yellow, the other color black and all. And I put a little color paint on it. And uh, of course, we got to have our little piece of tape on there. Put a name and phone number and all that on it. We have to do that here in Louisiana. And uh, I'll probably put like a piece of reflective tape on here too. So that way, as it's getting dark, I can shine a light and I'll be able to find them. And uh, so let's get started here. What I'm going to do is make sure it's all tight, lid tight. My tarred line here, and I don't remember what size this tarred line is, but it's pretty heavy. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to put. Let's see. I need to put about. Nine foot, maybe. That's gonna be six. Come on. Okay, let's do that again. Three times across my chest. It's about, about nine foot. Got pulled up. I'm targeting these big garfish. Right there. I'm about to get my glasses on. I can't see nothing. I mean, a little knot in the end of this tarred line. Come right here, right here in that part of the handle. There, and I'm going, I'm going around it, and then I'll go around and around. And then I'll pull that up. Make a nice little knot. Then I'll put a half hitch in it. Another half hitch. And that's pretty good on there. And I'm going to come down on the end and I'm going to do a do my loop like I do normally. And I'm going to put a drop shot on it. And what I'm using for a drop shot sinker is some old spark plugs. Just slip it through the through the piece right there. Take my leather man here and kind of beat the electrode down. All right, we got a drop shot on the end of it. And I'm gonna come about oh about that close enough from the sinker. I'm gonna tie my loop. Always do. Except I done real big on it right now. Now that loop on there and double it, and then I got some four alt hooks, four alt trot line hooks. It's got that big eye on it. You see. Push that down, put that through it. Push over the hook, pull it up tight, tight, tight. Like that, right there. Drop shot down here, line there. Got enough and just 
let it float around, float around in the water. And that's pretty much it. We're gonna target some of these big gar. Then we're gonna do a catch, clean, and cook video on that, so y'all see how all that does. Hook back behind all that. Come back around. Come back around and try to drop that through the handle. And then that's pretty much how I wrap it up and secure it for the boat. So y'all just keep watching. And you'll see the catch, clean, and cook I'm gonna do. Got more coming. Got more coming. So about all I got this time. I'll see y'all 